Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the video. So, if you feel like you're lost in life, I do have some advice because these are things that I went through and I just felt like I should make this video because I feel like I've struggled with it for a long time. It took me probably four or five years before I really figured out what I actually wanted to do with my life and I know that during the time where you're still searching it might feel like you're never going to get anywhere or it's just going to or you just don't really know if you're doing the right thing realistically no one can give you the answer all I can really do is share with you what I did and that it eventually worked for me like I watched tons and tons of videos about this kind of topic over the years I feel like some of it was pretty good advice, some of it was just kind of fluff, and some of it just didn't really say the things that I really wanted to hear. So I'm going to do that now, and hopefully you find it helpful or reassuring. So I got to say, like, when I was a kid, between like when I was born and around 18, I was just happy trying to get out of school as soon as possible and playing video games at home. That's all I wanted to do. I was very happy with that. After I finished high school, I didn't really have much interest in doing anything. I had a job at a grocery store and I was like, okay, this is fun. I like it. It's fine. So uh, over a little while, maybe like a year or two, I was like, I can do more than this. And then that's kind of when I started like constantly feeling anxious, thinking like, what am I going to do with my life? What do I want out of life? I can do more than what I'm doing now. What's the next step? So I started watching tons of YouTube videos like about like philosophy, religion, like anything I could do to try and find who I am as a person, all of that kind of stuff. But I gotta say like it kind of helped to shape who I am, like what my mindset is. I more have adopted philosophies from my point of view on life like I'm pretty stoic overall I think and I gotta say like that's probably kinda helped me like I don't really want to say stay sane because I never really like freaked out or anything while trying to figure out what I wanted to do but I would constantly feel like man I just don't really know what I'm doing and I don't know how long it's gonna take me to find what I want to do so it was just a constant state of pretty much constantly trying new things and being disappointed when I didn't really want to continue with it. Like to give a quick example, like not even being dramatic, I probably tried 30, 40, 50 different hobbies over the last four years. I gotta say like I actually gave them most of them a good shot. Like uh, I tried drawing, I tried coding, game design, playing piano, even guitar a little bit. Um, making videos. I like making videos. That's one of the things that I stuck with. <sighs> There's a lot to say. <laughs> this isn't really about me. The reason I'm making this video is because I want to try to like give you ideas and kind of like also let you know that like other people have these things that they deal with in life. I think it's a natural part of trying to find your path in life and what you want to do and what you want to get done. It's a stressful journey, it's annoying, it's going to be filled with anxiety, ups and downs. I think that's part of the journey. But now that I've actually figured out what I want to do, that's pretty much gone now. Like it's just like suddenly it just you're finally like life is still hard and it has challenges at times obviously, but realistically you kind of have something to aim for and in a way that kind of just it gives you a purpose in life and that can help you stay focused and you kind of just worry less about things because you know everything that you're doing is just a step towards the goal that you're trying to achieve so exactly what I did like I'll share like what I would think about and stuff for example like I would recommend you try to just think about how you spend your time. Like, what do you actually do? Like, do you just scroll on Instagram and like you like certain things occasionally? And you like certain things occasionally? Like, what are you liking? Are you liking a cute dog? 
Are you liking a cultural video? Are you liking a video about food? Something like that. Like, eat, no matter how small it is, just like actually look at what you're doing, even if you're not proud of what you're doing, or even if you are proud of what you're doing. Just look at how you actually choose to spend your time and think about it at a deeper level and see like, why are you doing this? What need is it satisfying for you? Like what, what joy do you find while doing this? Even if, it, if you feel like it doesn't make you happy, there is something about it that you enjoy, otherwise you wouldn't spend time doing it. So try to think deeper about what it is. If you like cute dogs, maybe you like animals. So what do you like about animals? Do you like the companionship of having a pet? Or do you like animals on a deeper level? Do you find them interesting? Like, do you think you could just sit down and watch a documentary about dogs or about snakes or birds or something? So pretty much what you're doing is you're breaking down how you already spend your time, no matter what it is. I'm using social media as an example because it's a thing that a lot of people spend a lot of time on, generally speaking. So for me, it was a little bit different. As a kid, I just played games all the time. But I think for me, the common theme that I realized when I played these games was I just liked the adventure of the main character and the story. So. I also noticed that most of the games I played were made in Japan, so I thought I, I realized that, and I started looking up like Japanese culture, and I started watching videos on that, and I came across the fact that like Japanese people generally live the longest, and I found that interesting. So I looked at their diet. I've been fat my whole life. I'm not like morbidly obese, but I am overweight. So I thought that, oh, well, maybe their diet will help me lose weight. So like I started eating Japanese food and cooking it. I already liked cooking. Like I enjoy cooking. It's cool. It's fun. And I actually lost a little bit of weight and I felt better after implementing Japanese food into my diet. And I would just continue watching videos on their culture and their history, their mythology, things like that, the day-to-day -day life. So... I eventually found something that I could deeply get into and research. So I probably went through like 30 or 40 different hobbies, as I said earlier, before I actually found the thing and I realized that this is something that I really like. So my goal now is to live in Japan and I'm studying Japanese. So I like making videos as well. So living in Japan being able to make videos or working at a company where I can make videos. That's something that I'm interested in doing. So for me, you just I just kept trying new things. I thought critically about how I would spend my time, how I spent my time in the past, and what I actually liked about it. So this is what I would recommend other people to do as well. Obviously, it's not going to work for everybody. But if you keep trying new things, you're going to get more experience. You're going to find more out about yourself, what you like and what you dislike. And you're going to think critically about how you spend your time and why you spend your time like that. And what this will do is, well, one, you'll learn more about yourself. But two, you'll learn the things that you like and don't like. So the main idea being you find a clear path for yourself by eliminating what you don't like and putting more time into what you do like. There's something out there that everybody likes for them personally. Let me rephrase that. There's something for everybody to go after out there. Like there's going to be one or two or three things that you come across for everybody in the world that they're just going to really enjoy. There's just something out there for everybody. So just keep searching for it until you find it. Even if it feels like, I don't want to say hopeless, but if it just seems like annoying, or you feel worried that you're not where you want to be yet, or you feel like you're worried about where you are right now, and you feel upset that you're not where you want to be. I'm like re-saying some things in different ways because I really just want to emphasize my point. 
you just got to keep trying new things and trust the process. A lot of people say this stuff because it's true. So hopefully my way of wording it is useful to you. But I want you to know that I struggled with this for many years and I finally found what I actually want to do. So if there's something you're interested in, watch some videos, go out and try it, look into it, research it, do this until you find something that you actually want to keep researching for an extended period of time. And sometimes you're going to get really into something for a while, but it just wasn't it. Like I tried to learn drawing seriously for like three or four months and it just didn't work out for me. I just lost interest. Like I really like, I really like looking at what other people make. Like I like anime too. I think that drawing and the animation and all that stuff is like incredible. It's beautiful. Like I've seen illustrations from artists. It's really cool stuff. But actually making it, it's not for me. I thought it would be because I like it so much, but actually making it was not for me. I put some time into it and I eventually decided that it's not for me. But video editing is something that I like. Video creation is something that I like. So even if you spend a lot of time on one thing and you ultimately decide it's not for you, there's something else out there to try. So just keep trying things and you'll eventually find yourself.